my gumballs it's soda and welcome to continue crafting wow yeah continue crafting continue crafting so continue crafting is is crafting ritual video idea that inspires me to finish what i started we will be doing this but da 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 lovely bullet journal of mine got the cute front right here and if you watch my intro to my youtube channel video which i can link in the description below you can see that this is me holding my girlfriend as a frog and on the other side we're gonna do the exact opposite have her holding me as a bunny so without further ado whoosh Let's get started. <laughs> hey, hi, it's me, your conscience. Welcome to the void. So totally ignoring my lack of stealth. Where'd, Where'd they, they go? go? I've had this journal for the last four months now, meaning I waited two months to paint one side, told myself, eh, I'll do it later. And then... I didn't. Luckily, I still had enough leather paint left over from my first attempt. Can I say I'm just in love with these colors? I mean, they're just so pretty! Speaking of things I'm excited about, I picked up this paint palette downtown to help keep my paint good and, uh, painty? So that hopefully I can get some more use out of it, cause supplies ain't cheap. And I do be broke, so. Anyways, time to paint this bad boy. Stay. So to start us off, I'll be priming the back side of the cover, making sure to apply multiple coats of white in between drying so that the colors I lay down later will be able to show through correctly. I really enjoy priming the surfaces of whatever I'm going to paint or draw on. It just looks so clean and it's like a it's a brand new canvas and it could become anything. Ooh! And I'm 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 blank. Done. <laughs> so now we're on our final layer, putting on the finishing touches, making sure to get into any nooks and crannies and cover the whole thing. Here you can see my thumbnail getting ready for the actual drawing. Where'd the where'd the circle come from? So apparently in the middle of me recording, my brother's phone, which I was using, died in the middle of me drawing which luckily it only stopped right at the head where i had drawn that circle that you saw there but his phone was also giving me issues where it wasn't focusing and it was just too much of a hassle so i went ahead and caved and bought a camera to do this with so you may notice a different in quality as well but i mean i really like it so far the camera is making it a lot easier to look at my drawing as i go the only issue is that i was pretty much just drawing at an angle the whole time so instead of being able to see the drawing straight on as you are right now what it looked like to me was more of like this luckily i fixed some of the perspective stuff off camera later on but as you can see because of my warped perception of this drawing her hat is just way off i remember being so unhappy with it once i pulled it close and i was like why is the hat sliding off her head like top of a hamburger butt i'm so glad to still be in the process of learning especially when it comes to looking back at my old art and my sketches because I feel as if I can just always learn so much more each and every time. And just being able to see how much I grow always inspires me to continue moving forward with what I'm working on just to see the end result of what I end up doing. Hey, so uh, it's me from the future. I just discovered nerd gummy clusters and I almost forgot to even describe what the heck a bullet journal was for those who may not know and my apologies for assuming that everybody knows but to keep it short a bullet journal is like a planner it was specifically made for those with ADHD to easily be able to keep track of their thoughts and daily tasks without 
having to struggle with forgetting all of the things they need to get done. So now we're moving on to the background and the last few finishing touches that I can add. The sketch process was actually pretty fun, but like going back and editing this now, I didn't realize how much work I put into it till now. Go ahead and dust you off a little bit. There you go. Who's ready to paint? Okay, well that was a bit of a weird transition, but now we are on what? Day two of me editing and I just wanted to say that you guys got really lucky. You guys got really, really lucky because I almost just tossed in the towel, slap some music on this stuff and call it a day. And that's not to be like, oh, praise me. I did the bare minimum. <laughs> but honestly, it's just very difficult for me to stay on task with these kind of things. My ADHD makes it very difficult for me to stay focused on something that doesn't pique my interest at all. Like watching a speed paint of me doing art that I've already accomplished and then being like, wow, that's amazing. Oh, time to watch it over and over and over again? Okay. But Soda, why, wh why would you post? something if you're bored with it. Well, lovely viewer of mine, I am in this phase as I like to call the testing phase, where I kind of just do whatever I want, see what sticks, see what doesn't, and hopefully learn from my mistakes as I keep going. Because at this point, I'm sure you're also wondering, well, Shoda, um, oh, it's a um, well, Soda, why would we want to watch something if you also deem it boring? Well, that's a Another. great question. If you're here right now, it's probably because you know me or I, I don't know, you just happen to like me. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just want to make this content as entertaining as possible because I feel as if if I can manage to entertain myself, I should be able to hold people's attention for at least maybe 10 minutes. And even then, I feel like that's stretching it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, good explanation to me. Good job. I just caught myself staring out the window for the last three minutes. And my neighbors probably super creeped out. They were just outside their car and I'm just sitting here blankly like, I'm looking at you. I don't mean to, but I'm looking at you. Anyways, um, shifting gears a bit, I want to show you all the store at some point that I got my supplies from. It's a really cool store downtown, so I'd love to be able to share that with you all because it's huge. Uh, when my girlfriend was talking about it, I was like, oh yeah, it'll be like Michael's or, um, what's that other place people go to, um, Hobby Lobby? Yeah. Um, I thought it would be more like that, but it's like really cool and I don't, I don't know, hip <laughs> or something. And I just really enjoyed it. It's a very pretty store. But yeah, when I went out to get my camera, I met one of the nicest old men in the world. He let me try out all of the cameras they have there. He specifically collects a bunch of cameras to refurbish, fix up, and then resell. And he let me test out this camera. He was the only store in town that had a tripod that could point directly down to film this in the first place. So that was pretty cool. And I had a fun time getting the chance to support a local business because apparently he had just come back from taking a bit of a break because of COVID and a bunch of other matters, but he was very sweet in explaining a lot of the different buttons and everything I have to use for the camera because I pretty much just told him right off the bat, like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know this is what I want to do. Can you help me? And he was like, yep, yep, I can help you. And I was like, oh my god. Somebody, somebody here is gonna help me, yay! So now we do be in the home stretch of what's left of 
this little piece of artwork of mine, but it's at my favorite part right now where I do the final layers and it covers up all of the streak marks and just, ooh, just look at it. I love how covered it looks. It's just so satisfying. So I want to say painting this took me about two to three hours total and then the drawing portion took me closer to like 30 to 40 minutes. I actually ended up enjoying the painting portion a lot more than I thought I would, but I think it also helped because of the limited color palette that I gave myself. So I wasn't super worried about like if I was blending colors enough and at most I had to worry about where I put my colors in relation to one another. Now it's time to- oh. I actually ended up enjoying the painting portion a lot more than I thought. So ignoring my little <laughs> fumble, I did my finishing touches, took it outside to spray it. Here you can see me using acrylic matte finish and spraying it all over both sides since the front side was starting to chip a little bit. And there you go. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And you, as you can see, Nala is pretty happy to be laying with it too. This is heavily inspired by my girlfriend, of course. I couldn't do any of this without her support and the support of my friends and family. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!